All right, editing your work or your PDF with Canva is very, very easy. Not minding the app you're using, whether it's Google Doc or any related stuff. I'm going to show you how you can edit um, your document, either from Google or from Microsoft Word, any of them using Canva. First of all, as you know, Canva is a very beautiful website. They have that of the app, so you can decide to use the app, or better still, you can decide to use the online version, which is the web version. Currently, I'm using this on my PC, so you can use your smartphone as well. If you don't know how to use your smartphone, just find a tutorial on that, or one of these days, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to use Canva for smartphone. Or better still, if you want a full Canva tutorial, on, you can check um, the description. There is a link on how to use Canva to make uh, to make um, to make logo, to make a uh, flyers, to make brochures, to make uh, web designs and all that. But let's begin why we are here. So first of all, you want to know the size of your document because it's good you know from here you can see uh, Canva has replaced resize to magic switch because of the AI. But the benefit is this, this is uh, the pro. That is why I can use the magic switch. So if you find it difficult to assess this um, pro version, send me a DM from the link on my YouTube channel, then I will add you to my pro team so that you can enjoy the premium benefit attached to Canva. So what we want to do is go get the document we want to edit. This is very, very key. Anyway, it is there is need for you to do it. But before that, let me say one or two things that are important. First of all, this is design. So you want to pick a design if you feel like, or you want to uh, pick an element. Here we have a lot of things at the elements. We have where you can insert all kind of element. You can come in this place and search for house and see what comes up. Then you can just uh, tap on it depending on the strength of your network and it should be done, right? You can see now I can add this to this document like this. That is one benefit because if you have to use Google Doc, for example, you want to insert, let's say want to insert any document, um, sorry, want to insert anything here like uh, image, you can upload image uh, from here. Let's say I want to insert this, then it's going to take all the full size or the full space. Yeah, width does not make it beautiful, but with the Canva doc, uh, uh canva our uh, website you can adjust and it sits on anywhere you want it without having to uh, make changes to your uh, document or your content that is one benefit over here you can add test this is the place you add your test ranging from 81 h all uh, this and this then at here you can use the branding if you feel like branding but i don't use this so we'll skip that over here you can upload anything you want to upload ranging from image to video to audio so you can upload this to reformats on canva then at this place you can decide to draw anything you feel like drawing you can pick this and draw something on the screen and let's just pick this and see how it works so i can pick this color here and then i start to draw on the screen but we're not doing that so over here you can check your project if you know how to use canva i've explained this other description so i advise you take your time to go through this video on how to use canva professionally and attached to canva they have a lot of element here you can come here and pick any of these um, apps and use them to work and the benefit of this is you can generate qr code you can create mock up here magic uh, stuff you can do a gen you can use hello q art did which is talking ai avatar you can use this app to do it then all these you can see dal e you can see all these all these and all these deep you can just take your time and try this out and see the benefit of doing this. All right, now we've explained this, we've talked about the magic switch and stuff. I want to first of all know the size of my document. So what will we do? I know you will say, let's try the magic switch. So I'm gonna click on magic switch and over here we can see the custom size, we can decide to pick any of this. So now what we want to do is first of all, we want to go to the uh, Canva site. Now we know how to do this, then uh, we'll go straight to the home section. But before that, something I will say is this, if you are done with your document, there are two ways you can get them to your system or your phone by downloading it. If you want to download, there are different variety of formats you can use. You can decide to use PNG, you can decide to use PDF print, which makes it beautiful to get your document out. So you can decide to download uh, MP4, SVG, you can see the word SVG, which is best for web design and animation. All right, now we know this, let's go straight to home section of Canva. 
ensure you have an account with Canva in case you're not signed up with Canva. Just hit on sign up with your email, your Google Mail, and you will have access to the interface. So over here now, we're going to click on Spotlight. Yes, I don't know how it is on, let me say on the mobile phone, but I think it should be like, like this. So we're going to click on this, then I'm um, trying to find the Spotlight and see how it is. Okay, see it here. Then for you, we have for you, we have the doc, we have all these, we have website, we have more. Let's see at the more section and see what's there, infographics and all these. Okay, now for you, let's look at the for you what's there. We can see document, you can see other stuff. But I want to be on the full screen and see what we have. So this is Canva design. I want to go out of it. I'm trying to get it and see if you can use it. Now it's at this stuff. So we have templates, we have all this. Okay, seeing that is gone. For smartphone, the best way to assess this is navigate through the website and just click on document. Let's see if I type DOC and see. Okay, DOC, you can see we have uh, major stuff from here we can use, but let me be at the full screen here. Then we can go straight to Spotlight and see uh, this called PDF Editor. Or better still, another way I think you can assess this is trying to type it here and say Canva Editor. That is what you can type in case using your smartphone. Canva PDF, PDF Editor, then it's going to bring you straight to the Canva PDF Editor where you can upload your file. Yes, with this now, there is no need waiting, uh, searching for this stuff because it seems these options are available for uh, guys using uh, the laptop, which is your personal computer. So now I'm going to come straight to the spotlight as well and I'm going to click on PDF Editor as it opens, same as this one, PDF Editor. They are all the same for smartphone and for your laptop as well. So at this play, we're going to import a particular design. So this is how the interface is. We're going to upload a PDF. For you to upload a PDF, you should know it's not a document, but a PDF format. Uh, you can change to PDF. I believe there are websites to change to PDF. You can come here and search for convert uh, word to PDF, to PDF. Then you can see that. Then you can see this website called I Love PDF. You can convert your word to PDF. Ensure you formatted it and it's good to go. So over here now, I'm going to um, in, uh, um, I'm going to download this stuff as PDF. Let me come here. Let me just hit on Ctrl Z so that that error goes off. I'm going to come straight to File. Then I'm going to hit on Download. So I'm going to download this as PDF. Then why wait for this to download? In no seconds, I should have it. Then depending on your download uh, manager, I'm using IDM Internet Download Manager. So I'm going to search for it when it's done downloading and drag it to the screen or somewhere I can locate it anytime I want it. So now we have that. I'm going to replace that file at that destination. And while it's seated there, you can see I have the biography of some other stops. So clicking on this place, I'm going to come into this uh, side. I'm going to upload my file. So let's go straight to upload the file from the desktop screen. I'm going to look for any of these. Let me click on this. Then the file have been uploaded and all others have been done. So why wait for this to upload? Sometimes it takes time depending. So uh, it is done loading. We have all on the screen. So from here, it has fully uh, been uploaded. Sometimes you might not get all the sites of your file. Uh, it depends on the network. Uh, what I advise people is if you're having much PDF, much uh, pages on your PDF, like up to 500 or 300 pages, uh, uh, divide them into two so that you upload the first one, then bring the other one. Then at the end, I'm going to show you how you can match this PDF. Yes, I'm going to show you how you can match any PDF using a platform of your choice. All right, now from here now, uh, what we want to do now is just come straight to this place and make changes and see if it's well arranged. Then we had other changes. Um, the reason my, my document is well linked, if I click at this place, it's going to take me straight to a particular place, I'm you see this place, let me see this, if this is linked so that when we click on it, it takes us to that page. So I'm going to come straight to this place, untitled, let me see what's there. All right, let me see on the screen again at the table of content. So let's come straight and start the full editing. It won't take time, I'm going to show you what you can do. Uh, first of all, you want to uh, rearrange this because of the changes that have been made. Um, there is no need drag, just drag this like this and it should be really positioned. So I'm going to put this like this and it's good. Then make changes, don't just uh, download it. Ensure you go through your work and see if they are, uh, they are well positioned. So I'm going to drag this a bit or drag it this side. 
ensure it's well seated that is the beauty beauty of it then when you have that ready you can see this is at 35 you don't know which page is this this 35 here you don't know where it is so it's trying to tell me page 36 and some other stuff so take your time and go through it and see if it are uh, if it arranged because if it's not well arranged then you're going to face difficulty so over here check if this background you have to get all of them out because if you don't get them out if you are trying to use it as pdf on kdp this is pertaining to kdp you have to delete all this out of it like this so you have to delete all this so that it becomes a white page but if you are not using kdp you are doing it for other purpose you want to just send it as pdf to somebody there is no need deleting this for those who publish on amazon there's need for you to get all this it won't take your time just click on it and delete move around here and delete all right now you you can see we have everything you want to scroll down and see this if you want to make changes you can come here and say a hey, you come to the center or some other stuff then you can change the font you want from here so you can move around to the font here and change it to this kind of font or anything you want you can change the color as well you can move around the screen at the color of uh palette i can change this color at this place to something like red then i have it good now we have this the number uh, number you must ensure it tallies well that is why i advise before you import your document ensure you've arranged them very well at this place depending on which app you use in editing your document ensure you've done everything here then you can just import to canvas so that you don't waste too much time trying to make changes so I advise you change the color here if you're using colors change the colors uh, from this place over here you can see table of content the color here it's a red let's check this document if the color there is red if it's not red then it means we have to be careful you can see here the table of content is red so you can see from here we have this page one you can just move down a bit and see then this 35 we don't know where it belongs but above all we're going to get this off and delete so while we watch closely from here you see this does not go very well copyright is not well arranged so we want to pull this up a bit so that it stays here just take your time and arrange your document if you like what you get then you can move on to the next you can see this is one the reason why we don't have that okay i didn't explain something that i think that 35 shouldn't be deleted over here just drag this tab to this place then all of them is going to sit well so just drag like this i believe this is even the best okay let me try get it a bit okay let me just put it this way then over here you can come down here and hit on enter then make all your changes if you want to make changes it's very cool you do that then ensure it matches everything you're doing so you can see we have one three you don't like this you want to make some change just come in here hit on enter then you have one three five then you can come here and pull down and ensure it matches with the one year from here you can see one three four seven just use this to match what is here now you want to add other stuff i've told you you want to add some designs to the top so you can come to this place element and search for any design you want so if i want flower and i come here and type it on flower then the flower is going to come then i'm going to pick this and click on it then i'm going to bring it to the top corner of it and make it sit there you can see it's adding some beauty to this i might want to duplicate this and or i might want to add a color depending on what you're designing let's say this is a colored i'm going to use this color design here with this i want to put one or two stuff here by just bringing this one here then i'm going to pull this here and i'll leave it like this depending let's say you're satisfied with this design and you want to add them to all the design all you have to do is select this if you're using your pc hold down on the shift and ctrl c so copy all what i did is this if you're using your pc i click on this i clicked on this with my audit only uh holding down my shift i clicked on this as well making three then i hit on ctrl c then I'm, i'll paste them here immediately so everything appears so i'm going to come so it means there's need for me to re, uh, resize for some reason so i'm going to resize this and but if you don't have those time you're using your smartphone and you don't have these features there is need for you to just come in here click and make adjustment and you can move on to this again click to this and make adjustment if you're on a smartphone so make all the adjustment that you need when you discover everything is fine you want to add some stuff then you want to check the size of your document 
So for you to change the size of your document, go to Magic Switch. I don't know if it's on your own. If it's not there, you can drop on the comment section saying it's not there. Then I will direct you on what to do. Or you can chat me on WhatsApp through the link on my channel. All right, over here now, I will come to the custom size and see the size. From here, you can see the size of this is 14.8. So if I want to change this, all I have to do is come here and change it to A5. Let's assume I'm using A5 paper. But I don't advise this. I don't advise this. The best thing to do is ensure that your document is all positioned at um, the app you use for editing. Let's say, for example, over here now you have something like edit, um, something like file, page setup. I want to click on page setup and see. At the page setup, I have um, A5. So you can use A4. Ensure it's at this range before editing your document. Now, when you, you set it up, then you can import directly to Canva. So over here now, the design here is beautiful. All the changes I want to make. If I want to add any other uh, stuff, I can come here and search for a man. I just, let me just say, um, king. Let's say I'm looking for a man, a king. I'm going to click on that king. Know the difference. So this is photo. If I want that, I'm going to click on photo. Then it's going to stay here. Then I'm going to pull down, I'm going to readjust. If I feel like readjusting, then I'm going to put it down here. That is the beauty of using Canva. Very, very beautiful. Over here, I can come straight to this transparent and reduce it. All right, if you don't know how to really use Canva, I've said it from the onset. Check the description of this video. Take your time and study Canva. Canva is a very beautiful website or app that gives you enablement to edit any document to your choice. Formatting is very, very easy when it comes to Canva. So now this career, you might want to make some background change. You want to add something like a background. You can come to element and search for anything you want. Anything you can search for background. Let's see if, we have, if anything comes up. I'm going to click on background and see. Then after the background, let's say I want to use this red. I'm going to click on this red. Bring it up here and sit them up. If it's a colored book, if it's a black and white, there is no need. So I'm going to stay like this and bring this like this. So you see, I'm having red all through. That's why some book, you see red, 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 red. Then if I want this, I'm going to just copy it. Then I'll click at this place. I'll paste it there, move to this place, click on it, paste it there. I'll keep on doing it for all of them. Then I have a, a different color at the top of it. If you want a different color at the bottom part, it's very easy. Same techniques applied when it comes to doing that. Now, let's say you want to add something different. You want to add... Um, uh, I don't know what other thing you want to add. You can upload from your uh, your phone or your PC. You can upload anything you have. If you have a picture you want to add to your document, you can upload that immediately. Let's go to the file section. Over here, you can import, you can save, depending. You can view history for those guys on the pro. And I've told you, subscribe to my channel and send me a DM. Then I will add it to my pro team immediately. Then over here, you can open desktop app. If you have the app, I'm not using the app. I'm using the online version. Then over here, we can decide to download when we are done. But take time and go through all this. Resize your document and delete this uh, background image so that uh, it doesn't give you issue if you upload it. But if you are doing paperback on Amazon KDP, what I advice is there is no need deleting this. Yes. If you are doing paperback, there is no need deleting this. Just leave it. But if you are going to upload as, if you are going to upload as ebook, then there is need for you to get this off on Amazon. Except Amazon won't uh, accept your book uh, when you upload it. It's going to tell you there is some error in your book. Even though your book go live, they are going to tell you error detected. But on paperback, there is no need removing this. You can even look for another uh, background at this place. Let's say you have a design. Yeah, you have a beautiful design you want to add. You can come here and say, oh, better still, let's just look for a beautiful background image. Let's say, okay, let's say purple, purple image. And let's see how it is. Let's say something like this comes up or oh, something related. Okay, let's say this. You can drag it now to this place and leave it. It's going to tell you replace current play page or hard as this. You can decide to hard this image or another way to do it is come to this place, search for the image you want. Let's say this background, you want to use it. All you have to do is drag and put it here. Then it stays beneath. Then you can decide to use this as your background image or you can click on it. Another way to do it and right click. If you're using your PC, smartphone, just click uh, hold down it. You can see this terms replace background. You can decide to replace background and see 
it replaced immediately we are having this if you want to use a different background let's say you want to use something like this you can click on it and it appears there then you right click and replace background immediately and it stays there okay so that is just the one beauty of it so when you delete this you will see the other one that's why i told you that you have two background this one is the first one which you want to delete then you want to add a different one entirely let's say this is what you are adding let me just cut it Control x then i'm going to paste it here then i'm going to use it as background which i know is not going to be beautiful but tutorial sake i'm going to leave it like that you can see from here it's like that this is not good and it's not fair enough all right now we've talked about that you want to download your document and see how it is when you're done with all the editing let's say you have something you want to add a separate page if you want to add a new page just come down here and you will see add page so just click on it you can see the sign duplicate page that's the best thing i do i just duplicate the page then i take this one move down move this one up then this one stays down let if i want to delete this i'll just come in here and hold down delete you can delete anything you want just click on it and press delete or find a way using the symbol here called delete let's say this is beautiful you want to use a sophisticated design you can click on this then you can right click and make replace background then it stays there then you can put your other test here if you have a very special test you can decide to use this as adding or you can move down pick one of the templates here if you are using the pro version then you can come here to this at uh, this place and pick then find this uh a different font and use it immediately then you click on it and you are good to go so i believe uh you now understand how to how to uh edit your document using canva take time and go through it and it becomes very simple no one is an island and i believe as you practice with this you become better now i want to uh, download this as pdf i'm going to go straight to share at the share then i'll click on download immediately then after the download i'll come straight to this place then i'll pick as pdf print then over the pdf print there are two choices that are given the first choice here is rogb which means if you are not printing this document you want to share it with your friends your family and other people you can um, download it as uh, rogb but if you want to use it for cmyk maybe you are uh, into printing books paper paperback when i mean paperback it means the hard copy it must be printed then there's need for you to change to cmyk then if you don't have access to the cmyk because of the pro feature i've told you from the onset send me a message or as well you can decide to try this and see if it's good for you if it's not good for you then you try use this then i'm going to hit on download then when it downloads we're going to open it with any application we have on our phone or on our pc any pdf reader you have you can use any one to open it but let's just wait for this to download then if we want to match two pdf together we're going to use the site called i love pdf let's just open it and it is up so over here there are a lot of lots and lot of features this website have been of good to everyone because number one is totally free which i know everyone wants free things so now we're going to click on match pdf split pdf compress pdf i'm not going to be explaining all this because they are well explained from the screen the first one means you can match two pdf together let me click on match pdf together definitely we are going to wait for it to load depending on your network speed over here you can see files so i'm going to click on it or you can drag so i'm going to select the pdf i want to match patiently you click on it then it's going to take you straight i'm going to click on this and click on another one but if you are using if you are using a your phone there's need for you to select them one after the other so i'm going to click on open then i wait patiently then i can put reposition it and say this is the first one and this is the second one that is it then when i'm good to go all i want to do is to click on merge pdf so i'm going to click on merge pdf then in the count of one two six we should have that all match you see said pdf have been matched then before we download this if you are just joining me on my youtube channel you can check and see what i do if you like them then subscribe to my channel as well then don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified and one thing you want to do is share to your friends so that they can watch and know how to use um, canva and google doc as well so next one to do is to click on start download then when it's downloaded we trace the document anyway it is on our pc or on our phone then we can open it when it's complete so over here, i'm going to click on open and see all right now we see from here this is the match you can see it from here it said matched so it has been matched together and all becoming one file all right this is it so let's see that of our um the one we did on canva let's see if it's ready 
okay you can see from here it's ready i'm going to check my download let me just see here you can see from here this is the biography we just downloaded let's see how it is you know we didn't arrange it because it's just a tutorial you can see this is how it looks and all stuff you can move on and you can enjoy the benefit of using canva you see this makes it beautiful because you can add other aesthetic pleasing designs you feel like using over here flower you can decide to add baby you can decide to add cross motor car houses you can decide to use technology anything you feel like adding you can add it to your design and your design is beautiful i believe you are you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something from it in case you need any other tutorial all you have to do is add the comment section Drop your best comment, then I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If there's anything you do for me right now, is to, uh, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss useful content I'll be making sooner or later. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.